Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Yeah, it must have been a little sight today. I was trying, it was 90% done, and then the rain <laughs> came, and I'm like, I'm going to charge through no matter okay. what the neighbors say. And all the grass is cut? The grass is cut. Probably all sticking to everything when you were done. Uh, that's a possibility. Well, you'll have some time to... Tomorrow to clean it up. We got some sunshine for you. <laughs> that, that Dedication, is good news. right there. Maybe I'll swing by. We have a view <laughs> of well, what's left of the showers. This is the cool vantage point from Plattsburgh. I zoomed it out because I think this really shows what we're talking about: how fast you can go from a pouring rain to sunshine. I mean, it's pouring in central Vermont right now. That would be those clouds in there. And then once it moves through, the blue sky is out. So for so many of us, it will be a beautiful evening on this Labor Day. If you are unlucky, well then you would have some pouring rain. Right now it's moving into Newport, the Interstate 91 corridor, but see how it's kind of a thin band, so it's already drying out in Troy and certainly in the area of Jay Peak, but Washington County here about to get pummeled with some heavy rain. Could be a few lightning strikes, but not seeing a lot of that right now, so this is not severe weather, but it is some heavy rain that'll slow down traffic. Hardwick down to Elmore, Waterbury, Cabot, uh, almost in Cabot in Marshfield. Route 2 will be a slow go pretty soon. And the southern end of this line doesn't have much oomph to it. It's basically just a few light showers there in Bristol and Middlebury, but we'll keep zooming down and show you the Scroon Lake area, Ticonderoga, a couple of raindrops, but nothing like we're seeing in the northern part of that line. Yeah, there's a few strikes there north of Malone, probably just north of uh, Altona and Chattagay, but generally these last few showers are pretty light, and I think those probably just fall apart in the next hour or two. So I think everyone sees some sunshine in the next hour or two, but that's uh, as the line moves out. Beautiful tomorrow, start to finish, Tuesday. And then for Wednesday, we have another line coming through. And there could be some flash flood problems Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. We'll show you that here coming up. It's 62 right now in St. Albans and Swanton, Ellenburg at 61. Notice all the 50s, though. So that is the rain-cooled air. It's a cold front that went through, and the rain that's moving along is really what's left over with that cold front. It doesn't really cool us off though that much. It's still a very nice day tomorrow with temperatures way up into the 70s and sunshine. There's a few puffy clouds, but I just love the looks of tomorrow. Now watch Wednesday. We start with sunshine. It's dry in the morning and then the line of showers comes in. It may not be very intense in the Champlain Valley, but the problem area and time seems to be later in the day, eastern Vermont into New Hampshire, right over 91. This is 7 o'clock Wednesday. Watch as we push ahead to 10, 11 o'clock. See how it doesn't really move very much and it kind of flares up even more. So it's a potential at this point that some spots could see two, maybe three inches of rain on Wednesday evening. And you'll see that here on the Futurecast rainfall. Not much of an issue for areas over northern New York. But once that line moves east, that's where we could run into some trouble. And so the uh, folks that study this a little bit closer, they have this uh, early heads up out. I know it's a low risk right now. That's just because we're a ways out. It's possible we see a moderate or even higher risk as that situation develops for later Wednesday. So we'll be here to watch it for you. Either way, it's quieter Thursday, just a few lingering showers. Friday and Saturday look good at this point. There might be some showers in here by the second half of the upcoming weekend. Stu, Alice. Tyler, thanks.